Hi, I'm Yara Estrada here on the Fusion Channel with Kin Community for a very special Las Vegas edition of the Fusion Spotlight. And we're talking to musician Matt Goss. So I know you might be thinking, Matt Goss, Fusion, what's the connection? Well, why don't we go inside his home and find out? When I think Matt Goss, I think passion. And I think passion for music, passion for singing. In almost 30 years now, so what has kept that passion for music so strong? For me, I think the passion, the passion comes from the love of music that my, both my mother and my father and my grandfather and my aunt Sally installed in me. You know, so many, so many kinds of music and, and, and styles of music. Longevity is the true meaning of success. If you, you either want to be famous or you just want to sing. Mm -hmm. And there are days where I'm exhausted and, and then to address the humor and like, I'm a very sarcastic guy. I'm, I'm kind of a shy guy off, off of stage. Um, I'm a confident man, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm a confident human being in my inner philosophy and the way I look at life. And my life truly makes it on stage. When you're a performer for so many years, mm -hmm. you, you can't bullshit yourself. You've got to just go on and be who you are. And those songs were written for a reason. Two thirds of that show is original music. Yeah. And they came from a certain place. And um, when you sing them, sometimes it cracks you in the jaw and you remember why you wrote it. And you'll see a grown man, like, you know, the show that you were at, there was a grown man crying at the day we met. Mm -hmm. Because the day we met, for some reason, affects the fellas. Mm -hmm. We actually had a chance meeting at Toronto Airport in 1989. 12 years old, I was decked out in my worn out Bross t-shirt and safety pin bedazzled jacket that said Bross at the back. True fangirl. The thing that stayed with me most out of that meeting was you telling me to always do what I love. And so, you know, we're sitting here today and, you know, really is, you know, talk about full circle. So for me to hear you say this is a full circle moment and you have something that's come to fruition for you in a big way and to have any part of that to inspire you. Um, I really think the first thing I think of is, is my mum. The way you tell me the story is authentic. So I lost my mother, as you know, over a year and a half ago now. I mean, two years, it's, it's a, I have no reason, I really don't care anymore about anything except you know, authenticity. I don't, I, I don't really care if it's considered cool or uncool. You know, my mother was the strongest woman and she's also the strongest person in my life. So to hear something from you, like my belief system, my internal philosophies, that I even felt and when you tell me that, that I said, please pursue you know, what really matters to you and, and stay true to your dream and don't let anyone tell you. I'll probably tell you, don't let anyone tell you that you're, you're crazy and just stay with it. And I've been telling people that for many, many years and, and uh, I don't know why, as a young boy, especially a teenager myself, mm -hmm. um, my fans coming from the UK, when you get a grown man saying, you really do us proud, we are so proud of you. So this is very, very moving to me, the fact that you've managed to realize a dream and I'm sure that you've hit many glass ceilings and you've, you've figured out a way to move and maneuver around those glass ceilings as a woman and, mm -hmm. and you've managed to bring this to fruition. So, you know, I humbly say I'm extremely proud of you and, and uh, to have any part of it, to be included in your journey. I truly mean that, like, I mean, it's very, very humbling for me and it also is the reason why I'll get on stage tonight and continue to do what I do. You don't realize people like yourself and many people every day, um, you gain a lot of stories over 30 years. And mm -hmm. um, I've done my very, 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 very best. I've made mistakes along the way, but I've done my very, very best to stay true to the person that you met 30 years ago. Yeah. I still have never had a drug or a cigarette in my life and uh, I enjoy what the dear Lord above gave me and that was natural highs. and. Um, even when I lost my mother, you know, obviously I wanted just to escape and take something that just eradicates the pain, but mm -hmm. I realized that the pain is just as important as the, as the joy that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. So really, um, thank you for letting me be part of your journey in some strange way, and even a very small way. And, you know, I always say, pull somebody up. You may part, pull them, you may pull them past yourself. Don't get me wrong, I will expect them to pull me up as well. Yes. You'll raise each other up. So. Mm -hmm. I've always had a soft spot um, for 
So Indian. Here's an easier question. Do you have a favorite Indian interviewer? Well, you are without question my favorite Indian interviewer, without question. <laughs> but I've always had a soft spot for Indian women. There's something about I love Indian weddings. I love I love decadent things. I love I'm not afraid to say that, you know, I, I think it's beautiful, it's such a celebration and colour and you know and it's 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 really, really inspiring to me. So I've but I've always been in the food, I mean my god. Yes. It's not Mr. Food, I mean the food, best food in the world.